wondering what Meek was doing in on defense. I thought it was 83, it was 93. Tedford will throw, straight drop back, touchdown to Wesson! All the people are going crazy. What a comeback. Vince Wesson, the silent gun in the lineup for Fresno State, while Page stole the headlines, Wesson steals the game. It's tied at 28. They still have to make the conversion with 11 seconds left. Again, we wondered why they went for the two point seconds left. The biggest point of Scott Darrow's life so far. And he makes it. It was nearly blocked, but he got it through there. Fresno State has won the California Bowl with a miracle comeback. Nine inches tall, 170 pounds, a junior from Bakersfield can win it if he can kick this 47-yard field goal. Jenkins to hold. Dugan makes the snap. It's down. It's up. It's got the distance. It's good. Jim Sweeney has said it many times before. Barry Belli says the head coach of Fresno State, he's like money in the bank. Belli has just made another deposit. The countdown continues here at Bulldog Stadium in Fresno. Taylor to the right. Baker to the left. Crowd on its feet anticipating. There it is. Sweeney to Pondre Davis. They will mark his progress at the 15. 10,581 yards. And that is the new record. Brent Damati, the public address announcer, has just informed the crowd that that last pass completion to Baker put him over the mark, and the game has been stopped here at Fresno. The entire Bulldog team pours out to congratulate their four-year quarterback, Kevin Sweeney. Kevin Sweeney has 175 yards tonight. Please welcome. This is the voice of the public address announcer, Brent DeMonte. Please welcome. Cunningham, the athletic director at Fresno State, is out there, the man in the red jacket. There is Lucille Sweeney, Jim's mother, Karen Stern, Kevin Sweeney's fiance. Fresno State athletic director, Dr. Gary Cunningham, is presenting the game ball to Kevin. Joining Kevin on the field and in turn receiving the game ball from him are his mother, Seal Sweeney, and his fiance, Karen Stern. Kevin, on behalf of the Fresno State Athletic Department, Bulldog Football, the university and all of your Red Wave fans throughout the San Joaquin Valley, congratulations on a glorious career as a Fresno State Bulldog. Rich Olson, offensive coach for Fresno State. First, the hug, of course, by his dad, Jim Sweeney. The entire Sweeney clan is here tonight. Eight children in the family. Kind of makes you do up, Mike, when you see a father and son embrace like that. Five sisters, two brothers. Kevin is the youngest. I 
go oh, back to the telegram that was sent what? earlier by Doug Flutie. Said, good luck. I hope you break my record. Break it, but don't shatter it. I don't know. With another half to go here, it just may get shattered real badly. Look at all of the names in college football history. Jim Plunkett, Stanford. John Reeves. Jack Thompson, the throwing Samoan up at Washington State. Mark Herman of Purdue. Jim McMahon, BYU. Ben Bennett from Duke. Doug Flutie, Boston College, and now topping the list, the 23-year-old senior quarterback of Fresno State. He'll be able to find his target. Great blocking from the offensive line. And Bouchelle, watch him. Patience. Wait, wait. Now the break and the throw to Jenkins. 22 yards before Wilcox can get him. Put through. 11 seconds left. He's unbelievable. It's 20 to 17 and Barry Bella with seven seconds remaining, has given Fresno State the edge. Magic Johnson calls it winning time. It's Barry Belli time. This is right down Main Street. No question about it. Forget the freeze job. Barry Belli just put it right down the middle. Along with Dave Winfield, only two men ever drafted in three professional sports. He can do it all. There's Mike Perez going deep wide open as Liggins. He has it at the 35. It's a foot race, and Guy Liggins will win. Touchdown, 75 yards. Mike Perez to Guy Liggins. At last, the Spartans take the silencer off their offense. And somebody blew the coverage for Fresno State. Well, you knew it would happen sooner or later, and he laid it, Claude Gilbert. Keith McCoy simply falls down on the coverage. And Claude Gilbert, in disdain, is waving the towel at Jim Sweeney. Coaches have known each other for 25 years, but both intense competitors. And Gilbert not appreciating some of Sweeney's tactics of waving the towel. We'll have a chance to see the play after the kick. Mike Perez will hold. Point after touchdown for Olivares. He missed his other attempt, his first attempt. This is his second attempt. He's got it. 10.49 to play in the game, and the Spartans take the lead back at 13 to 9. 75 yards, Perez to Liggins. Watch number 40, Keith McCoy. We'll see Perez going back. This is a designed play to get Liggins one-on-one -on -one deep, and Perez just airs it out. Now, Liggins, as you watch, watch the move on McCoy. It's bump and run. McCoy simply falls he down. Falls. The guy Liggins does not have great speed. Caught 80 passes last year, but you have enough speed at the wide receiver that once you're that open, nobody's going to catch you. Keith McCoy, by the way, 10-4 in the 100 meters. The guy Liggins is in for the touchdown. And that makes Mike Perez happy. 75 yards in 11 seconds. Now, I thought... They were going to double-team Guy Liggins the entire football game, Dave. Keith McCoy fell down. Where was the help? Well, they were in the bump-and-run coverage, and the safety didn't go over to help. It's tough to say whether they had on-top help or not. The point is, Keith McCoy, with exceptional speed, simply fell down, and the play designed to go to Liggins at the perfect time. Guy Liggins, who is not a big play receiver. He catches quite a few balls, 41 coming in. And, but on the average... Only about 12.3 a ball game. That is the 10th longest pass play in San Jose State history. That's a backbreaker because the Bulldogs have played so well defensively. They give up the lead on one play. There's the kickoff from Sergio Oliveres. Brock Smith, Anthony Williams, two burners are back. Anthony Williams from his five-yard line. Pardon me, Brock Smith. 
number two. Takes it. 35 40. Oliveira's the kicker can stop him. He doesn't. And he breaks the tackle. He's going all the way. 20 10. Rock Smith goes all the way for a touchdown. 95 yards. Jenkins, the two wide out celebrate. We have played this whole football game with nothing happening, and then in 20 seconds, we have two scores. Well, you think they're waving towels now? Jim Sweeney's waving jerseys. Lux looks. He flips the football. Evans can't hold it, and Fresno State takes over. One minute and 18 seconds left in the ball game. The Bulldogs will take over, and with San Jose State out of timeouts, it looks like the Bulldogs, all they have to do is hold on to the football, and they will be in first place in the Big West Conference. And isn't it fitting that it was Tracy Rogers that came in? We'll go to one knee, and the clock winding down. That will be the final play of this football game. It was a difficult time in the second half for Fresno State. But those fans in the Valley can uh, start rejoicing and get off the floor because Jim Sweeney has beaten that man, Claude Gilbert, his old nemesis. Here at Spartan Stadium, the final score, Fresno State 17, San Jose State 15. And the fans, the Red Wave faithful holding the banners that are saying Cowboy Fresno State versus question mark. And that is indeed a true situation because in the past, the winner of this football game has gone to the California Bowl in December. Bronco. And he has put on a splendid display. Rodgers almost got him. Kimbrough will run for the first down, or very close. He fumbles, and it's the Bulldogs football. His third fumble of the game. That, that ball very nearly went out of bounds. Had it, Western Michigan keeps control. The officials are talking about it right now. But Kimbrough, wanting to get that first down, doesn't slide. Look at him, stay up. That's where the ball came out. He was hit right square in a breath basket. And the ball, as you can see, stays inbounds. Brian Greer is the one that falls on it for Fresno State. But, Steve, it was the guy who was penalized earlier. Mark has pulled. Look at him stick his helmet right in Kimbrough's stomach where the football is. In fact, the ball started to slide out even before Hope put his hat on it. Kimbrough not tucking that ball away as he should have. They line up for one. Two frays line up. Low snap. They're going to have to go for it. Incomplete. 31-30. Fresno State holds on.
he'll be awfully cold by the time he gets to the locker room. Dilfer again down on a knee. That'll do it. Fresno State, they're going to go wild. The red wave is beside itself. Look at all the players run into the end zone. Jim Sweeney. He and Larry Smith, great friends. They meet in the center of the field. victory tied seven all at halftime Sweeney, what's this win mean to your program? fresno state comes out and shuts down the trojans of southern california final score fresno state 24 southern cal seven We've gotten down to around the 30-yard line, and they'd have had a shot of the field goal to win the football game. That's Boy, what would have happened. That would have been close. There was about five seconds, and when he'd have caught it, that would have been. To see him get out of bounds, that would have been a heck of a sprint. That would have been something. The last gas. Barring a defensive penalty. And they're going to make Oak scramble. Here's the heave. Minardi down there, and it is batted around and intercepted, and Fresno State has the big road win they've been looking for. The Bulldogs do it at Colorado, 24 to 22. Snapper is Robbie Ryan. The holder is Sin Tanoski. State 16-14. Coach, your thoughts? That's the 37th kick they blocked in the last five years, so don't be surprised. They got pressure. The Washington got his hands up coming up in, inside. One thing you worry about on a field goal like that, can can your kicker get it up? It looks like it might have been a bad snap here, too. Snap on a bounce. And the kick got off low. And what a leap there, Coach. Raymond Washington, up high. They worked on that during practice this week. Let's go down to Heather Cox. Heather first down in the first overtime for Fresno. Pinnaker going for his tight end. He's got him. Steven Spock scores, and the game is over. Spock, who came into the season with only four catches, has two today, including the game winner in overtime. Well, Spock ran clear through the secondary. No one even touched him. Nice play action fake. Go ahead and get behind the defender. The linebacker sucked up inside. Pinnaker, all he had to do was just deliver it, try to make the completion. Peters out, two to either side, and the tight end, Allen, to the right. Nick Moore in motion. For the win. Opel gets away. Throws to the end zone, knocked down, Fresno escapes. 55-54, Fresno comes away with a one-point win in two overtimes. 
A gutsy call by Tom Anstutz. Went for the win. Look at Fresno State almost sacks Opel early. He's looking for someone to uncover. Fresno State all over it. Surprised they didn't try to play jump ball with one of their big receivers one on one. What a football game. Here's Pat Hill's reaction. Well, Tom Amstutz gambled, came up, snake eyes. 55 54, the final. Going back to Pat Hill football, eight plays on this drive, all of them rushes, and here comes the ninth, and it's Miller with a gaping hole, running hard for another first down. One of the few times tonight you really do see that emotion, even on the players now on the sideline. Yeah. Devin Newsom saved the touchdown. There's not much dancing right here, and you're getting good blocking up front. And you're seeing guys for San or Fresno State's offensive line. First time tonight on defense. They call timeout with 12 and a half to go. Fresno State poised to take the lead. Fresno State and San Jose State tied at 10. 12 and a half to go. Fresno State, its best drive of the night by far, poised to take the lead. Here's Jamal Rashad for seven more. Down to the eight yard line. For the first time tonight, San Jose State's getting the ball run right down its throat. Keith Burns, the defensive coordinator, calls the timeout. Then watch him gesturing to the other sideline, like bring it on. And the next thing you know, words are being exchanged from the coaching staffs yeah. across the field. And they're still jabbering at it. And I like the timeout that Burns took. It's like a basketball team going on a run to settle your guys down. They have more yards of offense on this drive than they had all night long prior to this drive, and the impressive drive ends with a touchdown by Anthony Harding. And Pat Hill yells back across the sideline to the far side for him. Bring it on. You see Dick Tomey right there talking to Keith Burns, his defensive coordinator, because Keith Burns went to the other sidelines and started motioning again. He needs to get his guys fixed. Because right there, that was a great kickout block by Charlie Robbins, creating space so Harding can sneak through to the end zone. Use the tail of the tandem in the eye. How do you finish your career? Colburn looking the end zone. Throws it up for grabs, and it's knocked away. Caught by a lineman on the tip to the end zone for the conversion. Is he in? And he is in. Unbelievable. I have no words for what we just saw. Devon Cunningham off the deflection. Watch this, he just threw it up for grabs. It's tipped away by Tavon Wilson. And then there is Devon Cunningham. 6'6", 350 pounds, who muscles it over. And who made, just made the play of his life. And in motion. Nova rolling right end zone incomplete the Bulldogs celebrate 52 51 in overtime
seven-game losing streak to Boise State. Question. Well, Jeff Tedford definitely has to be up there for the turnaround. Best turnaround in college football. Down as Houston keeps this drive alive. Fake the cat a lot. Ball tipped up in the air. It's up for grabs and it's intercepted. Jaron Bryant picks it off and he could take it to the house. And he does. Twenty-eight coming into the game. He's got a hundred. McMarion again goes deep. There he is, Keyshawn Johnson into the end zone. And on that play, not only a touchdown, but Keyshawn Johnson now the all-time leading receiver in a Bulldog uniform. Shift Rivers. McMarion options to Rivers. Try to turn the corner up. Get there. Paynard into the orange to win on the blue. Robbie Rivers and Fresno State in overtime. At the very end, you had to get some kind of doubt in the mind of Boise State and those defenders. It turned out to be the option with McMarion, and that forced the Boise State defenders to free up. Rivers on the outside, and he had the speed to the edge to finish, and finally. Boy, Kelly has got a lot of space on the outside right. Hayner to the end zone. Touchdown, Fresno State. Jalen Cropper. And Jake Hayner is the natural. Utterly, utterly incredulous scene at the Rose Bowl. If Robert Redford has a football movie left in him, this is the story. This is not only an incredible play, but how about the throw? They have two receivers in the same area. UCLA again to the corner they get beat again this time it's Mo Osling and Jake Hayner how about the ability to locate the football he knows what it's about he knows the deal he knew it wasn't just another game he knew it was at the Rose Bowl against a team ranked making a ton of noise just give me a shot they're eight seconds from having it all be worth it and Thompson Robinson this is going to be the play this is it Launching it deep down the field into the mass broken up and Fresno State has won a game that will be remembered forever. Field needs two more to tie. Strong into the end zone. Not Able to keep his feet in bounds. Romeo Dubs. My goodness, what a crazy, crazy finish. Made the catch. Not able to keep his feet in bounds, but we have a flag down. A flag down because I think the sideline celebration uh, for Fresno. It's a good idea. Get Dubs in the back of the end zone. The defender with his back to him. Never Just, turns his head. Justin Houston. Justin Houston out of Gardena, California. Sarah High School, and that is right. Both feet out.